Hello. In this video, I'll share a few hints uh, about how to improve uh, uh, performance uh, for the uh, visual LLM inference with Q12 when uh, running inference on multiple files at the same time. And I'll be using Hugging Face uh, Spaces uh, Zero GPU infrastructure, but I guess the same hint would be available if you'd run this model on premise or on some uh, other cloud uh, vendor or infrastructure. So here I got uh, two sample files that uh, I'll be uh, running inference with. The first one is a bond stable, and the second one is a Swiss market uh, uh, stock information table here. Right. And what we'll do is we'll upload uh, both files. And so the first one is, let's say, bond Swiss market and bond table. So we'll upload both to the Gradio application. And this is the uh, private uh, uh, hanging face space, uh, which runs on zero GPU. And the source code is available in Sparrow GitHub repo uh, under parse uh, uh, folder uh, and uh, it's uh, under parse info folder available and uh, there you could find exactly the same code as uh, the one which is being used here to run the space and you could create your own space uh, and with zero GPU or some with some other GPU configuration as you want. Okay, so I uploaded uh, two files and then let me specify the query Say I would, uh, would ask to uh, retrieve all data and return response in uh, let's say JSON format, right? Uh, like this. And now let's execute. And while it executes, we can go to log. And we can see I, I did some few tests before, and now if I uh, clear the log, then uh, it should print out files, uh, print out the names of the files that uh, as soon as they are processed. And we can see one uh, GPU is being used, and Swiss market uh, file is processed. And now without any offloading or loading model again uh, instantly the second uh, image is being processed uh, so it works like in a queue and now as soon as information is being printed that second file is processed we'll get back the response okay and here we go we got one sys market and both stable both are being processed and here we, here we get the response so we got uh, JSON structure for the sys market and somewhere here it will end. This is where uh, first file extracted information ends and the second file uh, information which is extracted from the second file starts uh, with this entry and it goes here. So uh, this means uh, in a single request we were able to process not single file uh, but multiple and this translates uh, to the multi-page uh, uh, file support, which is being implemented now in Sparrow, so that when uh, we pass the uh, large PDF document, we split it into the pages, convert to the images, and send in, uh, in batch in a single request. We send uh, all the pages to be processed by the uh, backend, uh, which runs on Q2, for example, and then uh, we get back a uh, single response with the page indicators to indicate um, uh, which, in, which JSON structure comes from which page and so on. All right, so this is how it works. And now let's look into the code. So I could go here to files, and this is the main script which implements the space and the main script which is responsible to interact with Q12 model. And uh, I should say now that if you look on other uh, hang face spaces or other examples of um, uh, how you could run, uh, let's say, Q12 LLM or other LLMs, usually uh, you would have run inference method or uh, any other name would be, but uh, the idea is that from that method you would initialize the, uh, or load the LLM model and then in the next step you would execute the inference. Uh, 
Uh, but this results um, in such uh, behavior that every time when you execute inference, then every time model is loaded. And uh, if it's the first time uh, when request is being executed, then model will be downloaded and then model checkpoints will be loaded. If model was downloaded already, then on a second or third request, each time you'll execute the request, uh, model checkpoints uh, will be loaded from local disk to memory. Uh, so it's like you'll be overriding the model which is already loaded with the with the same model which is loaded from the from disk. So to avoid this and to improve performance greatly, which uh, at least with this zero GPU space uh, helps to save some 20-30 seconds per request. So so it, uh, this approach uh, improves the request processing uh, a lot. And the the improvement is simple: is to move uh, out uh, model loading and initialization from the inference function to the uh, let's say main script here and this means when application starts when script is executed initially then at that point of time model is loaded and it stays in memory and if a restart happens or whatever then it will be automatically loaded again but it will not be reloaded uh, between uh, inference requests which will uh, which is the most important thing since this will allow to uh, improve the uh, performance time and uh, inference time of processing uh, requests. And this is very visible in my use case since I'm processing two files uh, within the same request and the uh, uh, model is not reloaded uh, after the uh, first f first file is being processed when uh, second file uh, is being uh, uh, being sent for the inference model is not reloaded, it's being reused from memory. So model checkpoints are not reloaded, they are being reused, and the, this, this makes the processing inference time uh, much faster. Okay, so then under run inference, here we, uh, in this case, we just using the model which was globally loaded from here with model dot generate, and uh, and this uh, this helps to generate the response quick without uh, without reloading the checkpoints as I said earlier. And in this specific use case, we are passing through Gradio UI interface, we're passing array of uh, uh, image paths, let's say, and then uh, for each of the elements from the array, we are getting the, uh, getting the information about the image uh, over here, and we are basically looping through all the images that were sent uh, to the endpoint, and then we are generating output, and here we have array uh, defined, uh, basically list, Python list or array, and we're appending this list with uh, uh, output for each image. And then uh, at the end we're cleaning up uh, uh, the file which was uploaded for the privacy reasons. And then when all the files are being processed, then we're returning the result back to the caller. And in case of Sparrow, this would mean that uh, uh, a result for all the pages would come in a single response and Sparrow would do cleaning and validation of this data and uh, finally would return it back to the API caller. Okay, so this is the, the hint uh, is uh, if you want to process multiple files in a single request or if you want to optimize your API and to avoid reloading checkpoints between different inference calls then uh, move uh, model loading to the main thread uh, and it will be um, initialized, executed and initialized when application starts and then uh, later the same model will be used without uh, checkpoint reloading. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!